I got something in the mail today. It's from my uh, customer, Peter. And uh, I've been waiting three or four days for this to show up. So let's see what we've got here. It's certainly packed it right. Wow. You went all out, Pete. Anticipation, and here we are. All component. A connector for uh, a particular keyboard. I'm not sure, I'm not even sure which one it is. So, he asked me to make a breakout board for him. For a project that he's working on. I said, sure. And he told me I was crazy to, to try to get it to go because it, the, uh, the size constraints are very, very tight. So, um, yeah, so I said, well, I'm up for the challenge. And so I made a board. This one doesn't pass. I made another one. Doesn't pass. Made another one. Doesn't pass. I'm talking continuity wise. There was either a break in there or something, or just one. Here's another one. Didn't pass. Here's another one. This was actually a mess up on my part, and it didn't have to do with size constraints or the quality of my printer. See, so yeah, I forgot to uh, do the negative on the. Uh, on the resist so I was actually etching away the traces so I stopped it and eh, it's too late all right so out of those boards I made another one here As you can see I got some uh, some traces in there but I was able to repair that so this one passes continuity wise and uh, this was actually this here is the original design to see the traces and then I decided I'd respin the board to make it easier for uh, for my process so this one here is the new design uh, both of these work they pass and I decided I'll do one more and you know so I did one that was came out absolutely perfect And this is be the one that we'll be soldering to today. She is, you can see that there. Okay. And that pad there, and that pad there needs to be soldered to the board. It'd be nice if those orientation holes were there. Or the pegs for the key to alignment, but that's okay. We've we got the job done already. All right, it's the most important step. Well, the f one of the first most important steps, alignment. Yep. So let's solder in one of the tabs. So we'll drop a flux. Okay. Tip. Verify we have a proper temperature. And proceed. Okay, final work. Yeah, it's dead on. It gives a weird form like that because of the way the the tabs are formed and I'll show you a uh, the data sheet for that so yeah but it's nice it's smooth it's clean I'm going to clean with a little uh, rubbing alcohol I'm going to use a new piece of tissue or uh, uh, coffee paper that I use I'm going to clean Connections one more time. 
going to verify that I haven't damaged any of the pens. We are good. We flux. Flux. This is how much flux I use. It's just saturated in it. Alright. That's what you want. You want that wetting action. Wetting action is what it's all about. I'll tend my tip. Clean it off. I'll touch it. And I need my eye loop for this job. here. I want to clean that up and do one more inspection on it. I'm not sure but I think I saw some a little bit of a bridge in there but you gotta you gotta clean the connection to, to be sure. Then we do a final continuity test and I'll finish the rest of the boards off camera. Alright. Let me do one more look here. Like that. Oh yeah. And here's the other side. Fucking perfect, right? Damn right. They all have excellent fillets. The one on the end has a little bit more solder than the rest of them. But that's perfect. By hand, you can't beat that. Let's do a continuity test and this video is over. What do you think? Verify that. Good. Here to here. Good. Here to here. Good. I'm going to do a test. Good. Here and here. Good. Here and here is 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 good. Good. And last one. Yeah, we're gravy, baby. Alright. So that's how to solder. It's my video on how to solder. There you go.